The State Department says it's seeing an increased threat stream from Iran. The State Department says, quote, given current security conditions, the secretary has decided to place Mission Iraq on ordered departure, meaning non-essential employees have to leave. Mission Iraq will have limited ability to provide emergency services to American citizens in Iraq, though the State Department refuses to detail what exactly the threat stream is from or whether it emanates from Iran. Uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo canceled a trip last week to Germany and flew to Iraq, citing concerns about neighboring Iran. And he continued to highlight Iran during his trip this week to Russia. We fundamentally do not seek a war with Iran. Uh, we're looking for the, uh, the regime to simply stop conducting assassination campaigns throughout Europe. The Trump administration has already deployed B-52 bombers, a carrier strike group, a Patriot missile battery to the Persian Gulf. The Secretary of Defense has also presented a plan to send 120,000 troops to the region if Iran attacks Americans or accelerates its nuclear program to build a weapon. The Iranian government claims the U.S. is trying to raise tension in the region. Iran's supreme leader says there's no war or going to be no war between the U.S. and Iran because Iran is not seeking a war. Yesterday, a British general says there has been no increased threat from Iranian-backed forces in Iraq and Syria, though a U.S. Central Command spokesperson says the general's comments run counter to the U.S. assessment and says, quote, the U.S.-led coalition is now at a high level of alert as we continue to closely monitor credible and possibly imminent threats to U.S. forces in Iraq. The top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Bob Menendez, says he wants an immediate briefing from the administration on what's going on with Iraq and the threat, especially now since the embassy has forced its U.S. employees, non-essential U.S. employees, to leave the country.